There, YouTube. Um, I live in Minnesota. This is my first video. Um, and I'm going to cut to the chase. I live in an area where there's a ton of residential ponds and lakes that I can fish. And today I just want to talk to you a little bit about um, getting into a new lake or a lake that you haven't fished much before. And just getting in so where you become experienced on that lake. Um, so how I do that is um, I have a, uh, a system that I do is I go on the computer, I go to my DNR uh, website, which is the Minnesota DNR, MNDNR, and um, I just look up the lakes that I fish. So, for example, um, uh, Pelletier Lake, or Pelletier Lake, that's a local lake, and what I do is I look at the stockings, the stocking reports, and I see what fish are stocked there, and then I do a bunch of research on how you know, to catch the, those species, and then I go to the lake, and I investigate. You know, I just drive around, look for places where I can go. I'm mainly a shore fisherman. I'm saving up to get a kayak, start kayak fishing. I don't have a boat right now, so I'm mostly, you know, shore. So I go, I look for, you know, grass, weeds, stuff like that. I'm particularly a bass fisherman. That's what I'm, you know, feel more experienced in, but really... <clears throat> just go and look for cover, you know, any obstacles there that you will uh, to encounter or see there. And, you know, just explore the lake, you know. One of my main ba baits that I use at my one local area, <clears throat> the lakes area, is a spinner bait. I started throwing that a couple days ago, and I've gotten three bass. And this is just this weekend. I got three bass, and I caught a pike, uh, and I caught a northern pike on it. So that area pay attention to the water color uh, you know the water clarity if it's a murky color you know it's, the water's murky you're going to want to go with a fluorescent color or a chartreuse color bright colors and if the water's more clear you're going to want to go with um you know more natural looking colors and you know that's basically it you know and then just mess around with that you know don't go to the tackle store or, you know, up here we have Fleet Farm and they've got a ton of fishing stuff. But don't go to the tackle store and just get a ton of stuff. I made that mistake. And half the stuff I have, I don't even use. But hopefully that's going to change this year where I can, you know, look and see. I'm hopefully going to be able to go out on the lakes and record some stuff for you guys if I catch stuff, you know. Um, I'm going to wait a little bit for the kayak fishing until I get used to kayaks. Uh, the place I go, I can rent them, so I'm going to get used to it, so that way when I have a kayak, I'll feel, you know, a bit, you know, safer pulling out my phone at a kayak, so, yeah, so me and my friend just go out every day we can, and, um, hopefully we'll be able to bring out some videos for you guys, um, and, yeah, so, thank you for watching, uh, like, comment, and subscribe, and hope to see you out on the water.